Hey YouTube, this is the Killer Game on Nine here, and I am bringing you a Black Ops 2 video telling you the new features on Black Ops 2. First off, let's start out with the point system. Yes, you heard me correct. There is a new point system on Black Ops 2 to where you can't have a certain anything anymore. You can only have up to 10 points. At the top, I have 9 out of 10 points, and as you see, if I start deleting all this, I'm down to zero points. Now, everything costs points. So I'm going to throw a weapon on there, attachment on there, and see how my points go up as I do that. Now, yeah, so they go up. Wild cards. These are things that help your gameplay. Like, perk one, greed. Allows you to have a second perk. One perk two greed allows you to have a second perk two and a perk three greed. But you get the point. And overkill take the primary weapon as your secondary weapon. And secondary gunfighter take a second attachment for your second weapon. And primary gunfighter take a third attachment for your primary weapon. And tactician take a tactical grenade in place of your level grenade, and danger close take a second level. Yeah. And say, see, they don't have any new perks, so I'm just click random things, and pretty soon they'll tell me I have too much shock charge. You throw it and you like it plants like a bouncing bedding, and if people run over top of it. It'll shock them and slow them down for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Black hat. You get that hack equipment and care package or disable enemy vehicles. Now, if you watch my gameplay videos once I upload them, I'll use all of these things and you get to see what they actually do. Now up top I have 10 out of 10 points. It'll tell you how to reach the maximum. Say I want a third attachment on my primary weapon. If I try to put primary gunfighter on there, it'll tell me I have too many items and ask me if I want to remove one. Now if I remove my secondary weapon, they'll give me a combat knife. And if you hit the back button, you get to personalize that knife. But you, it, like the guns, you gotta get kills to get the camos. Now, that's the point system. Simple once you learn it. Now, the next thing is no more kill streaks. It's all about points now. You get score streaks, and that's how you get your stuff. So, yeah, you UAV, you get 350 points. For that, for the hunter killer, which is like a, I think it, it looks like an airplane. You pull it out, you throw it, and it goes and kills somebody, or the, oh uh, like, and it vehicle something like that. It costs 525 points. And guardian, you place it. It's like a heat ray. It'll shoot out, and if they get in, it'll slow them down and slowly start killing them. And I'm not gonna go through all of these. So I'm gonna just go through some. War machine. It's like like the death machine, but you shoot rocket launchers, dragon fire, remote control airplane thing, and AGR. It's like a remote. It's like a remote controlled assault drone for Mine for Three. Okay, we had those are most of the new things, and of course they brought back where you can create your own emblem and do lots of stuff. Now. If you're just starting the game and you don't want to go against people that prestige already, you can go to combat training and go to boot camp. You can play up to level 11 and then they'll kick you out. And you'll be playing against other people and you still get experience for it. And that way you can unlock guns and all that. But yeah, this is a video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my other videos, guys. See ya.